October 25, 2024 Friday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians Brethren, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. It is He who set it on the seas, on the rivers He made it firm. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The clean of hands and pure of heart, whose soul is not set on vain things. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Blessings from the Lord shall he receive, and right reward from the God who saves him. Such are the people who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little children the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say at once, A shower is coming, and so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, there will be scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of earth and sky, but why do you not know how to interpret the present time? And why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? As you go with your accuser before the magistrate, make an effort to settle with him on the way, lest he drag you to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the officer and the officer put you in prison. I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Friday, 29th Week in Ordinary Time In this morning's first reading from the letter to the Ephesians, Paul reminds his readers and listeners that in spite of the tensions between them, they have a great deal in common in virtue of their shared baptism. He enumerates seven elements that they share, in the form almost of a litany, one body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, on God who is Father of all. If you count all those elements, there are seven, and in the biblical world, seven was considered a symbol of completion, perfection. The realization of that wonderful oneness with all those dimensions to it should help them to, as he says, bear with one another charitably in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. It can be easy for us to focus on the lack of harmony between ourselves and others. The normal little tensions and misunderstandings of life can come to assume huge proportions. We can easily forget all that unites us as brothers and sisters in Christ. It is worth returning to that list of seven elements that Paul puts before us which we all have in common, in spite of our differences and difficulties, one body, the Church of which we are members, one Spirit, the Holy Spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God who is Father of us all.